Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo and welcome back to the channel news for August. Now, as many of you may have noticed, or some of you, um, August actually is a month that I came back to the channel news. Uh, I skipped last month uh, for various reasons. I sort of, um, I wanted new news to report and um, I, I didn't really realize that it's actually a pretty important part of the channel to actually have the news for each month so to let you know what's all going on and what all I'm doing so I wrote down a few bullet points to let you know uh, what all happened last month that I didn't report on uh, what all happened for this month since we're sort of in the middle of the month and what we plan on doing in the future so without further ado uh, let's get to the first bullet point here Alright, so our first bullet point is that we finished the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2 Tournament of Robotic Champions, and the winner has been crowned. Now, I won't spoil the ending as to who actually won, um, but you'll have to check that out for yourself. Uh, the video is probably going to be up in one of the top corners. Uh, I'll try to add a link in the description if I can. It was actually a really enjoyable tournament. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. And uh, let's see. The next bullet point is that we're going to be moving on to the Robot Arena 2 DSL Mod 2.2's Losers Bracket, so that'll actually be really interesting. Uh, I'm hoping that I'm going to win. Uh, as you know, the format for the Losers Bracket is a 4 versus 4, um, everybody versus everybody, all out sort of tournament, so i actually be looking forward to that and see if that's going to be any fun. Uh, I believe that Fire Beetle is going to do well. Um, I designed him myself. And he's actually a really cool bot, so I'll be looking forward to that, and hopefully you will be too. So, on to bullet point number three. Okay, and bullet point number three is that we actually finished the Naruto uh, Battle Climax Konoichi Throwdown Tournament. Uh, that was actually really enjoyable. Again, I won't spoil who won it. Uh, you're actually going to have to check that out for yourself. I believe the uh, video uh, actually playing will be in one of the little bottom corners here, perhaps. Um, and again, I'll try to add a link in the description for that, so hopefully you'll enjoy that one. Uh, it was actually really fun to watch and commentate on, and of course I always love commentating. Uh, I apologize if this one, uh, this news update is a little bit different than my usual ones. I'm actually listening to, like, inspirational radio from Spotify in my head. Not affiliated. <laughs> um, over my headphones to actually help me sort of loosen up. Because another part of the reason that I stopped the news updates is because last month I was so nervous that I didn't think I could do one. But this month there are a few interesting things to report on, so... I felt that it was actually a really important part of the channel, and one of my subscribers actually noticed that uh, I didn't do a news update last month, and they asked me why, and I was like, well, I didn't know if I had anything to report on, which was true, but it's an important part of the channel, so I'll be trying to bring those to you guys as often as I can, and I've made a few, I've made so many mistakes in this video already that I wonder if I should include a blooper reel, but um, uh, without further delay, on to bullet point number four, I believe we're on now. Alright, and a bullet point number four is that we're actually going to be continuing, well, I'm going to be continuing with Skyrim uh, VR. Uh, uh, Video is going to be over there or over there. I'm not sure what corner, but uh, I am just beginning the Mage's Guild quest line and discovering the ruins of uh, Sarthal, I believe it was. Uh, that was actually really enjoyable. I like uh, Skyrim VR just because it's a really fun VR experience to have. Now, I do kind of feel bad for the fact that I didn't get it on the HTC Vive and play it on the PC because from what I understand that one's got like some really increased graphics and actually allows for, um, for I think mods, but they have to be like approved mods. They're mods approved by the game developers, which is understandable. Uh, and the graphics have definitely been improved, but I like the rustic feel of my old Skyrim VR for the PS PS4, and I'm going to continue on with that one. Um, I may, may be removing the face cam from it because I, I feel like without a green screen it sort of detracts from the VR experience. Now if I did have a green screen I would do it that way and you just have the outline of my body playing the game, but I'm not sure how VR works very well with that. Um, I know that if you do have a green screen, um, I don't know if the VR will actually work with it, but I know that if you have a green screen, PlayStation 4 has a, an easy way in its editor to easily apply a chroma, uh, what's it called, chroma, 
chroma filter, uh, it actually very easily applies that to the video in the uh, PlayStation Share room, but I actually prefer to import my PlayStation videos onto my computer so that I can upload those videos in 1080p, which uh, PS4 only does 720, which is, you know, fine, but um, I, I pretty much view 1080 as a standard, so I choose to take the extra time uh, that hopefully people, you know, appreciate that I take the extra time to import them onto my computer and upload them from there for the, uh, you know, it's only an extra, what, 240 pixels or whatever, but I, it matters to me. I notice it. It bugs me. I'm OCD like that. But um, we'll be moving on to bullet point number five. All right, and bullet point number five is actually the one that I'm probably the most excited about. I played a new game called Vroom Kaboom on Steam the other day, and it was actually really fun. It's a uh, sort of a tower defense game where you build a deck of vehicles, traps, and obstacles to put in front of your opponent who has basically like a base on the other side of a map and the two of you actually launch vehicles from one side of the map and the other side of the map and you sort of crash and shoot and try to maneuver your way towards your opponent's base to actually destroy his tower it's sort of um, I, I wouldn't call it a League of Legends sort of feel but it's it's you know it's that same lane control um, objective you're controlling the lane you're trying to really um, control the lane take down your opponent's vehicles and get your vehicles to your opponent's side of the field so that was really fun. Um, I watched the live stream of another of another player that was actually playing on PSVR and realized that, oh, it's not just on Steam, it's also on PSVR. Uh, so I played the non-VR version in the last two, uh, in the last episode, which came in two parts, which was actually still, even without VR, very fun. I, I recommend you check it out. Um, it was really fun, and I think the next video that I'll be doing on it, I'll be trying out the PSVR. But I would like to give a little bit of time for me to practice on that, since it'll be a new sort of system to point and click and shoot with the uh, move controllers, which I think I'll really like, especially considering the fact that um, I'm sure I wasn't the first person to do it, but I was very proud of myself when I figured out the like real-time movement controllers for the PlayStation Move on the Skyrim VR. Uh, instead of the whole point-to-click thing, which I was actually really proud of, because that's a, it's not necessarily a complex system, but it takes some getting used to. So I'll enjoy trying out that system, and uh, might even get the premium version of the game just to see what all it has to offer on the PSVR. So after that, we'll be moving on to bullet point number six. All right, folks, and bullet point number six is the fact that I actually managed to get some feedback on Twitter from the developers of um, Vroom Kaboom uh, from Rat Loop Games Canada and uh, it was actually really nice they said uh, keep it up you're doing good you're playing well uh, you're getting better and better and I actually really enjoyed that because um, I remind myself I try to remind myself that as a content creator for YouTube one of the major jobs of a YouTuber if their content is actually like gaming one of your you know jobs that some people don't realize is that you're supposed to interact with the community and sort of um, help developers develop their games and improve on certain things and and you know you're sort of like a spokesperson for games that come out that are new especially if they're not big big like uh, what do you call it a1 titles a plus games like the big 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 guys and you know it's actually an important thing to actually be part of the community and it feels good too to have people notice that you know you're out there doing it uh, so it's not all just about the subs and the views and it's all great to do your own thing but uh, to actually get feedback from a developer is really nice so if I if uh, in the future I'm gonna keep trying to do what I do and do what I do best and uh, actually really enjoy it uh, we'll be moving on to bullet point number seven all right, folks, in bullet point number seven, I added here, uh, again, sorry if this uh, format is a little bit different. I'm trying a new format, uh, you know, talking about the bullet points, listening to music, try to get myself to loosen up, which you can tell I'm still, like, really, really tense. I need to just relax. Um, number seven, we'll be moving, I, I, I wanted to announce that I'm going to be, I'm planning to play Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker. Um, that one is actually, I'm really looking forward to that. 
Uh, it seems like a great system. You de you design your own Shinobi. You know, it's got probably got to have a really big online player versus player system. And after you know playing so much of Konoha Legends and Battle Climax, I sort of really like the whole Naruto genre coming in with the channel. Um, I'm not sure what kind of Shinobi I'm gonna make because uh, um, you know I I like so many. I don't know if it's gonna let you actually make a puppet master, which is actually my favorite genre, but that would, oh man, I would love to suggest that to, dev uh, to the developers, but in order to do that, they would need to sort of have like a Soul Calibur 5 system of being able to mix and match different parts to make different puppets, or they would have to include a combination of puppets from the show, which, if you don't know, you know, Naruto as a series, like Naruto shipping and this is all just a bunch of hoo-ha and jargon, and I'm sorry for that. But um, uh, I, I would really love to do that. And if not, that's fine, too. I just want to be able to, um, as I make a character, I want to be able to choose what type of jutsu or what type of format that I'm actually using. And that, that would be really great. I would absolutely love that. So um, as far as I'm aware, that's the news for this month. Um, that's what we're planning on doing next month. i got to get my second PlayStation 4 card so that I can actually uh, pre-order uh, Boruto to Shinobi Boruto to Naruto Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker so uh, if you're one of my buddies from work and you've got a PS4 feel free to join me on that if you catch the video I would love to actually have as many opponents in real life as possible because I love playing CPU or um, setting up CPU versus CPU tournaments but um, the number one thing you gotta do is play with your friends uh, you know, gaming is all about friendly cooperation and helping the gaming community develop, and I'm very proud to be a part of that. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video, hopefully it updated you and let you know all the things that you need to know for this month and next month. If you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more video, that if you did enjoy this video and you'd like to see more videos that I've created, um, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content, leave any helpful comments that you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated, until next time! Take it easy, my friends.